Here's it going guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got an unboxing. Today we're going to be looking at things that I've picked up over the past month and unbox some items and also just have a look at the things I've downloaded and purchased online. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to look at the parcels. So I've only got three parcels at the minute, I should have four, but we'll get onto that in a second. So let's get the first parcel. So the first parcel we've got, we're going to start with the biggest box. Now opening it up, so in here we have got... Okay, so we have got a blowfish from the Tortured series. Now, I don't believe that I've done a video actually talking about this wave of figures. I have currently got wave one, and now this was the last figure I needed out of wave two, and obviously now I've got it. And this was released, and it wasn't really in line with the character options figures. It was made by Sci-Fi Collector. It had two waves, and meant to have a third one, where they released Owen and it just never came about so we had the figures that actually were released we had captain jack we had Gwen cooper we had yanto jones we had toshiko santo but we never got an owing because he was meant to be in wave three we got a blowfish captain john hart a cyber woman and a weevil now i've got every single one of these figures boxed now which i will do a video on coming up in a few weeks but yeah it is quite interesting that they never did a wave three because they were considered out of proportion with the normal character options figures and just less people bought them so the next box we've got um once again pre-opened now i believe i know what this is because when i purchased it i kind of had an idea because i made a video before in the past and i did mention this figure and i said i hadn't got it and luckily i managed to find it for the right price track it down and purchased it so get in the comments below what this figure is and then i will tell you if you're right or not okay so for the people who guessed it was the 11th doctor from the snowman episode you were completely right this is the figure um i never managed to pick it up unfortunately because i just never saw it for sale but now obviously i found it for sale i found it for a decent price here is the figure i now i'm a proud owner of it now this unfortunately is going to go right into storage with the rest but one thing i found interesting was the head actually really easily came off this figure i was being gentle and because i didn't want to damage it but then you could also put i believe it was the 11th doctor regeneration with peter capaldi which is here um you could actually swap the heads onto this as well now i do have that figure mint in box and that will be interesting to see if i can actually do that now the last one we we're unboxing um i've got no idea what this is i ordered that much i kind of lost track oh well, there's one figure is there any more oh it's just the one figure so i'll open this figure out and we have got the paul mcgann from the 13 doctors set now i have wanted this for a long time i've been a fan of paul mcgann from the tv movie and seeing the night of the doctors i believe it was called the little pre-episode and obviously i've got max wolf on the wall right behind the camera and i've been listening to a lot of his adventures and i do enjoy paul mcgann as the doctor and i never had him in figure form in his modern attire so i'm very glad to have him in his modern attire i'm going to have a look to see if i can do a head swap with this figure so this head is actually the one which came with the John Hurt figure, the War Doctor, and then I'll have him up on display next to my Time Lord Victorious type figures, which is my Brian the Ude and the Time Lord Victorious Starlick, and I might have him next to that. But this is all the unboxings, and I never thought I would actually get this because I purchased it um, off one seller. He ended up refunding me because it got lost in circulation, and I couldn't find one for months upon end for a decent price because these figures typically go for around about 90 to 150 pounds. Obviously I didn't want to pay that and I managed to find one for less than that and purchase it. Yes, it didn't come with a sonic screwdriver, but I can find one of them online sooner or later. So now we're going to have a look at everything else I've got. As you can see, I'm in the audio books part of my computer. So we'll have a look at the BBC ones first. So we have picked up um, 
Melody Malone, I Angel's Kiss. Um, childhood, we already, uh, childhood then, we already had that one. I've also picked up the new River Song one, The Ruby's Curse. And then these ones here and here are all 10th Doctor ones early on from when BBC just started to get into it. And I'm very interested in hearing what they're like, so I have got them and I will be listening to them. Other ones we have got, Monthly Adventures, as you can see, I did have up to 72 here, Terra Firm. Now I've got 73 up to 80 and 81, sorry, and then 83 and 88. So I've, I have got quite a few of the monthly adventures now. Unfortunately, it has now stopped. So I think I'm going to try and get all of them downloaded and listened to just so I've got them all as a peace of mind for me. Um, other ones we have got, The Ninth Doctor Adventures of Avenus, Volume 1. I have listened to this. It is absolutely amazing. It's as if Christopher Eccleston never left the role as the Doctor. I strongly advise you getting it. I did get it on the download only, but you, you just need to listen to it. And then on the 10th Doctor one, the latest release, um, Out of Time 2, Gates of Hell, I now have that in my collection as well. This one, actually, I ordered the CD version because everything apart from Dalek Universe to do the 10th Doctor, I've got on physical format with his adventures. And when it came to Dalek Universe, I just simply couldn't afford it. But I still wanted to get Gate of Hell on physical format so it would match. That's it for this week's video, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week with some more Doctor Who content.